There to dream, there to believe, there to think, there to work. Only then do you achieve. Do what is right, not what is easy. So you don't end up regretting like I did when I got the call that my little bro was no more. What I have realized in life is that we lose people, we lost things, and most times it hurts. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes we we'll feel a little bit of despair. I won't lie, but absolutely I feel that pain. Absolutely I feel that hurt. Absolutely there are days and times when I feel like giving up. For when I lost my brother, a piece of me went with him. But the reality, that's the reality of how I feel as a human being. For no matter how tough you think you are, you are going to hurt. You are going to feel that sense of emptiness. In fact, everyone you love is going to hurt you sometime, someday. You just have to choose the ones worth suffering for. You are going to feel that sense of loss. But the best things about losing is that you have to grow. The best things about losing is that you have to feel it is that you have to understand it is that you have to fight through it the best things about losing is that you have to learn and you have to be strong and muster the courage to grow through it nothing on earth can stop your purpose if you just hold on to it so today I live not just for me not just for my family, not just for those that look up to me. I live every single hour of my life to honor my brother. He may no longer be here, but I have to live better for him. Not because I am better than him, but because I have to do better for Milton. I am not the best of me yet, but I am walking towards it. So if you are listening to me now, understand the pain, understand the struggle, and all the things that are holding you back. Understand that all the things that are holding you back are not going to last for long. They are not going to last very long because this life is cyclic. Whatever you're going through right now has not come to stay. It has come to pass. So long as you are alive, you have to continue to move on. You have to continue to live no matter the loss. You can't allow the loss of a brother, of a friend, of a father, of a mother, of a sister hold you back to a point where you can't move forward for as long as there is life in that body you have things you need to do live for those you've lost so long as you are alive you can buy a new car you can get a new house you can get a new phone you can walk to get whatever property whatever property you've lost the reality is The reality is, we can't go on forever, but we must go on. We can't live forever, but we must continue to live. We must fight for something. Don't fight for nothing. Live, breathe, and fight. And believe it's not over for you so long as you're still here. It's not over for Bamenda. It's not over 
for the English-speaking regions of Cameroon. It's not over for the Northwest and the Southwest. So make the most of your life. Honor those that are not here with us. Keep on. Keep up on the good fight. It's not over for me. And it's sure not over for you. It's definitely not over for this town. Breathe. 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 And as you gear up to march into 2022, overcome your ego today and make out and make up with your friend. Make up with your father. Make up with your brother. Make up with your sister. Make up with your neighbors. For they might not have done things the way you wanted them. But they did the best they could. Remember we are all different. It is our differences that makes life interesting. It is our differences that makes life interesting. So... Do the best you can this particular moment. For you might not be here tomorrow. For you might not be here the next moment. The only moment you promise is this moment that you're in. That is the only moment you're promised. So don't let your ego push you to the point that you do not spend the little time you have with your father your mother your brother your sister your wife your husband your neighbors your town your city your country do not let your ego push you to that point because you might end up regretting as i am doing today do better than motani today and make out with your loved ones for whatever they do they are trying to do the best they know. You might know better, but that doesn't mean they do too. They are doing the best they know. They might not be doing what you love, but you must learn to love them unconditionally and make up with them. Spend a little time with them so that tomorrow if you are not there or they are not here, you will not spend your time lamenting like Motani did. Mommy, oh, tani, oh, tani, oh, tani.